drug discovery, we want to try and find a small molecule drug or a, a protein that will affect the course of disease. The first step in that process is to find a target, usually a protein, that when you change it with a drug, it will provide a cure or alleviate the symptoms of disease. That's the process that we're interested in. How do you choose that target? The process of drug discovery takes a long time, up to 10 years, and is expensive. It could be $2 billion to get an approved drug. Also, most of the time, drug discovery programs fail, usually because the drug doesn't work or it's not safe. This is a problem that we want to improve through Open Targets. Open Targets is a consortium of five pharma partners and two academic partners, including EMBL-EBI, that have come together to try to solve the problem of how to pick the best target for a safe and effective medicine. We integrate data from many different resources that are available in the public domain. To find new insights from that data, find new targets, we need to use uh, cutting edge resources like machine learning, deep learning and so on to identify targets that people have not choose, chosen before. One of the things we're working on now is to use gene editing using the CRISPR-Cas9 system to affect the function of proteins in cells to identify whether they will be good drug targets. Our approach works best if we can share data across academic and industry sectors to provide us with more data and more insights into the targets. Increasingly, samples are becoming available in biobanks from human populations. We can link those samples with the symptoms in electronic health records and start to identify the targets that are responsible for those symptoms. These will make good drug discovery targets. To maximize the value of the data and to maximize the effectiveness of our approach, we need data to be shared across all public resources and that will allow us to discover new things, new targets, new uh, leads for drug discovery programs. Emble EBI is the world centre of uh, biological data. That data describes the relationships between targets and disease and we can use that data to identify the right targets for drug discovery. We use data from many resources in EBI, the GWAS catalogue, European Variation Archive, Kemble, uh, Euro PMC and so on, that having that data publicly available allows us to do what we do. This is an exciting collaboration between academia and industry to really change the way that targets are selected and drug discovery is done by sharing data in the public domain.